U.S. officials tell our Pentagon team North Korea could be working on a submarine missile system. That's after the regime carried out its longest ever missile test, which analysts say could put most of North Korea, I'm sorry, North America, within range. And tomorrow, the U.S. Air Force will carry out its own long-range missile test, though a spokesman says it was long-planned. Let's bring in Sumi Terry, former senior analyst on Korean issues at the CIA. She just got back from South Korea. Thanks very much for fighting the jet lag and coming to be with us. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. So, decipher what uh, Secretary Tillerson had to say there. He had some very reassuring words, I guess, for the North Koreans. I think he's just, yes, as you said, he's trying to reassure North Koreans so they don't feel threatened. But the fact is, North Koreans feel threatened and they think having nuclear weapons or completing the nuclear program is the only way for the region to survive. Um, and so I don't think necessarily North Koreans will be reassured by this rhetoric by Secretary Tillerson. You don't think it's going to achieve the, the affected dis, um, uh, end? No. North Koreans feel that they only. They need to have nuclear weapons for regime survival. They have said this numerous times. They point to uh, Libya and Gaddafi, what happened to Gaddafi, what happened to Saddam Hussein, and say nuclear weapons is the only way for the regime to be able to uh, survive. And what about this uh, report that uh, the North seems to be trying to arm its submarines with nuclear weapons, uh, ICBM? Well, this is part of perfecting their nuclear program. They need also, in addition to land-based, they need air and sea-based uh, ballistic missile tests. So they are going to do that. Um, submarine launched ballistic missile test is, uh, is an additional threat, poses another additional threat because South Korea does not really have a defense against submarine-based missile. They have now tested two ICBMs in July, uh, the most recent launch a few days ago, apparently even more effective more advanced than the July 4th launch, uh, are, they, are, are they getting more belligerent? I mean, despite these assurances from the Secretary of State, are they um, yeah, being more belligerent? Absolutely more belligerent, and Kim Jong-un believes uh, that he has to uh, perfect the nuclear arsenal that his father and grandfather have pursued at cost of billions of dollars and, and millions of lives. So he will achieve this capability, and, and in, in within a year, as the Defense Intelligence Agency's assessment came out, North Korea will have this capability, nuclear, capab nuclear armed missiles to hit New York or Washington within a year. We don't have much time. Scary stuff. Sue me, Terry. Sue, thank, thank you for you. having me on.